Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again and today we got official confirmation that Concord is the biggest flop in video game history. Now this isn't hyperbole or anything, we got some new information from PlayStation and none of it is good. Now I'm going to start off by saying I had originally defended Concord, I enjoyed my time with it during the beta. But there were clearly flaws with the game. I thought it provided some things that gamers were looking forward to. Like a $40 price tag, which is hard when it's competing with free-to-play games. But it didn't have any of those free-to-play problems. You would unlock the uh, alternative characters, essentially. You would unlock cosmetics. There was a clear progression system. And that's things that gamers had been asking for. They were tired of free-to-play and seasons and battle passes and all that kind of good stuff. But that wasn't enough to save the game. I thought the showcase of the characters was underwhelming at times especially in comparison to what we saw during the cinematics that they produced some of the animations there looked really good the characters looked pretty awesome and then you got to the in-game character models and they just weren't the same they were almost too realistic at times but anyway time to jump into what playstation is saying so Concord friends were listening closely to your feedbacks. It's the launch of Concord for PlayStation 5 and PC. And I want to thank everyone who has joined the journey of the North Star. Your support and the passion community has grown around the game, has meant the world to us. However, while many qualities of the experience resonate with players, we also recognize other aspects of the game. And our initial launch didn't land the way we intended. Therefore, at this time, we've decided to take the game offline beginning on September 6, 2024, and explore options, including those that will better reach our players, this being likely a free-to-play model. Now, whether that's going to happen or if it'll even help after the beta, which was free as well, underperformed, remains to be seen. I don't think it'll make much of a difference. This is a game that needs some fundamental changes, and I just can't see them pumping in any money to the game to make those happen. While we determine the best path ahead, Concord sales will cease immediately and we'll begin to offer a full refund for all gamers who have purchased a game for PS5 and PC. So everyone who purchased the game is getting a full refund, which is kind of insane. I don't think I've ever heard of a game that's done this in this manner. We had Cyberpunk 2077, which was so broken that they offered refunds, but this isn't unplayable. It's just underwhelming and the player base is so small that they won't be able to justify putting more development time energy and effort supporting the servers necessary to keep this pvp game going so that's kind of crazy they announced they show well they talk about how you can obtain a refund a lot of it is going to be automatic but once refunded players will no longer have access to the game and I can't say I'm entirely surprised. This is a drastic decision, one that I was assuming would be changed to just making the game free to play instead and seeing if that sparked anything, including it in PlayStation Plus. Those kind of things that I think can sometimes reinvigorate a player base. The question is then, though, how it makes money. And there was just no path for it. Apparently, this cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. And there's just no realm of possibility, even with free-to-play game, even with potentially purchasing skins, where they could recoup nearly any portion of that money that would be necessary to keep it going long-term. And I am of the opinion that I think it's a bummer. They tried something different. It didn't work. They definitely did not present this to the community in a way that made a lot of sense. They really struggled to have it resonate with anybody. The character models, like I said, I liked some of them. Some of them were pretty solid. I did think sir, during some of the animated scenes that the characters could look pretty good, but also during the gameplay, they just, there was no character like, uh, mercy in overwatch that really resonated with the player base you didn't have people looking at them like bunny from the first descendant there was no characters that everyone was like that's my main i love them i will buy every skin for that character regardless of how much it costs that just didn't happen and so because of that i think the game faced real issues with getting people to 
latch on in any meaningful way. And that's an incredible bummer, in my opinion. But it is what it is. I think at the end of the day, Concord is the type of game that I wish would have succeeded. I think there was room for it in the overall PvP player base. But I understand why it didn't. And I understand the problems that it also had. I do feel like that the gameplay was pretty solid. I do also think that it separated itself with some of the different game modes and everything from other hero shooters. It tried to do something different there. But between Overwatch and Marvel Rivals, between other hero shooters of this nature, this is a big issue that future hero shooters will face as well, potentially. So let me know in the comments down below, are you surprised that Concord has failed? Is this the biggest flop in video game history? And what do you think happens next with Concord? Is there any way that you could see it coming back? Anyway, my name is Jopa. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe. As always, have a good one, and I'll catch you all later.